Hey there dudes, it's Tuesday, welcome to the Daily Movie Critics, my name is Simon, and I've got another review for you today. Sorry I wasn't here last week, or the week before, I think it was. Um, oh, excuse me. Uh, I had a really, really bad computer virus, and um, got rid of it now. Basically it was one of those anti, one of those viruses that pretends to be antivirus software and then cripples you and there's nobody you can do about it. But, uh, I'll beat that motherfucker. Yeah. One thing you should know about me before you hear about this movie is I am a huge Star Trek fan, especially Star Trek Next Generation. I fucking worship and love that shit. And understandably because it's just good. It's it's good fucking old fashioned T V entertainment. I don't watch I don't watch a lot of T V now. I I just watch box sets or online or I download stuff. But um Star Trek Next Generation is something that if I catch it on T V I will always watch. Uh just because I, I love it. And this movie I'm reviewing is Galaxy Quest, which perfectly satires the whole Star Trek uh, thing. Mainly the the first series, uh, the original series, but this is basically a satirical take on that. It's called Galaxy Quest. It was directed by Dean Parisot, and it stars Tim Allen, Scotty Weaver, and Alan Brookman, as well as many other actors. I'm not going to go through the name, there's quite a lot of actors in this movie playing the whole cast. Uh, of the crew of the Galaxy Quest ship. It came out 11 years ago. No, 12 years ago. It came out in 1999. It's fucked up. I mean, I'm, I'm nearly 20, but I remember this movie. I guess it was a part of my childhood, I don't know. But anyway, here's the premise of the plot as a basic outline. Back in the day, there was a TV show called Galaxy Quest, and it had the actors of the Galaxy Quest. It was a satire on Star Trek. It's basically Star Trek, but in this movie, they can't say Star Trek in that. And basically, um, aliens saw the TV show and thought it was real, and they built the Galaxy Quest ship. And at a convention, uh, a Galaxy Quest convention, all the cast of the original TV series get sucked into the real ship and put in real situations uh, as the crew in that. And it's. Uh, it's funny as ass. If you're a fan of Star Trek and you watch this movie, you're gonna you're gonna get what they're getting at. But if you're not a fan, it's still pretty funny because you can sort of see how it would be if that makes sense. <laughs> now, uh, on the Wikipedia page, you can see a bunch of quotes from. <coughs> sorry, I get burping. You can see um, Wikipedia quotes from people from the original Star Trek series saying what they thought of the movie and they're pretty funny so you should check them out I'll put a link to the Wikipedia page down there and the IMD page because I don't really normally do that and I thought I'd do it because everyone else seems to do it and yeah I want to tag along if you've got two hours to kill watch this movie it's funny and nostalgic and satirical and good and I give it uh, 4 out of 5 I only rate things every now and again I don't really understand why. But I do recommend checking it out. It's good. And I will see you next week. Motherfuckers! Oh, I forgot to mention, if you want to win a Blu-ray player, then uh, subscribe if we get over two, if we get to 2,000 subscribers by the end of June, then we will be giving away a Blu-ray player. A uh, video about that is in this little box here. Oh, my bunny ears. What? Uh... <laughs> In the link below, or there's a beer box around here. Go to that video, it'll tell you all the things to win a Blu ray player, and I will see you soon. This time for real, motherfuckers.